Hello ladies and gents, this is me, Evan, your friend in some really exciting tutorials and this is the 10th and last video for the basic training of the JAPANEL version 2 set of panels. We have seen already so many things that we can do in the JAPANEL, so many creative things and so many mind-blowing things that will change the philosophy of your album creating mind. In this video, I'm going to talk about the two last set of buttons in the DAP panel version 2, which are the album size buttons and, of course, the final actions. Most of the times, photographers are struggling to understand the sizes of an album. And most of the times, the client needs different sizes of albums. So it's a really pain in the head to try to understand the sizes and, of course, to try to understand and create double times two or more times the same design. So this album size button set will help you reduce the base design, the base dimensions of the design, the first design that you will create. The first design of the square, let's say, album, it is 40 by 80 centimeters. I mean the double page design, okay? Well, uh, if you are an American or you meter with inches or picas or something, it's really easy to realize what's the dimensions of the centimeter system. If you go to the image and select the image size, and of course here change the pixels or the centimeters to inches. So now you understand that the width of this uh, double page design is 31,5. Uh, 31 ha and half, let's say, inches wide and uh, 15, 75 inches tall of the double page design, I repeat. So you realize that it is a big, actually, uh, double page. It's the biggest that can be printed uh, on a book, okay? Or let's say the normal biggest dimensions. After, if you want to just, you know, make it uh, shrink it a little bit, change the dimensions uh, by uh, decreasing the size. You can easily do that by selecting one of those buttons. Well, those buttons again are in centimeters, but uh, as I showed you, it's really easy to understand what's the new dimensions. If, for example, you press the 35 to 70 centimeters, we go again to the image, image size, and we see that we're talking about some uh, inches that they are 27,5 let's say and 13,8 okay you understand that really easy and so you can uh, define what kind of dimensions you would like but of course my job is to help you and uh, prepare you create the larger possible design and then shrink it down so let's say that we want to create a design for a customer that he would like his uh, double page design to be 30 by 60, 30 high and 60 width, okay? Like that. So the height and width is uh, this 30 by 60 is the normal, let's say, uh, printed design in uh, Europe. And if you click that, you just have it ready for you. You don't really have to do anything else. So you start from 40 to 80 and with a click of a button you go down to 30 by 60 and uh, then let's say that you want to save i save this design and then let's say that we want to make another book for uh, a smaller let's say for the best man okay the same album so let's go to 15 by 30 so we save two times with different dimensions and we're good to go this is so easy the album size button set is one of my favorite button set because it helps me redefine and uh, actually change the size of my album page designs really easy with only clicks i don't really have to mess with image image size remember the settings those five settings and of course the first setting of 40 by 80 they are the main and most important dimensions of square album designs and of course in the white album designs because the dimensions of a white album is different is 30 by 80 uh, as you can see here we have different uh, actions here that they change the dimensions of this white in different uh, let's say styles and sizes 
So I will go back to the square album designs and you understood the big picture, I'm sure. So this is so easy to go from the big to smaller or even smaller if you want to make one, two or even three, four different sizes of the same design. And last but not least is the final actions. This is again a wonderful set. Well, actually all the buttons in the DA panel set is uh, some buttons that uh, I really love and that uh, I really miss those buttons if I don't see them often, okay? So those buttons, they are not just be there in order to fill the gap of this interface. They're here to help you be light speed and even faster as ever before, okay? So the fit on screen actually will help me put my design on fit on screen sequence or if I would like to go to the view 100%, I can go there and then with a the hand tool, I can see the quality of my design, which is superb, as you can see now. So again, I go back and forth really fast and really accurate without any problem. And of course, then we have the save button. So I don't have to go ever again over the file save as. This is a save as actually command. And of course, we have the duplicate command that makes you a duplicated design over here, as you can see. And of course, we have the close button, which is uh, super good for closing the design, but it's even better if you want to close a smart object because it will uh, produce you or it will provide you the dialog window of uh, saving or close the window of a smart object. So let's see that in action. I go there. Let's create a double page design. Let's create a square over here. Just leave it over there. Okay. Just one photo. I don't really have to put many photos. This is a unique but minimal double page design. I will go inside the smart object and I will go to my bridge. And then I will go and select, why not, this. Super. I go back and put it high in order to fill the gap over here. Maybe I want to have a little of the sky. Super. Hit apply and then normally you could have to close this one and then uh, press save or not or cancel whatever but uh, i tend to have it much more convenient for me to be on the close side over here and save and this is it you see that wonderful design and of course then boom maybe i will put the frame why not a stroke and shadow and maybe on the background I can go to something different this time, something like that. Or I could go to the, you know, dark area. You see that? Looks even good. Um, and maybe here. Mm. Or maybe to, let's go to, a, as you can see here, a dark uh, tribal. But probably I'm going to stay at about, actually, I will go there. Okay. And then I will go to the background and select that. And I think it's awesome. And you see that really easy, really fast. I can go to fit on screen, view 100, save, duplicate and close. Really wonderful buttons that I think that you would miss them if they weren't here before. So the album size buttons and of course the final action buttons will define the dimension of your album design. And of course, it will help you do really fast but really important move inside Adobe Photoshop. This is the power of the DA panel that not only gives you thousands of design combinations, but actually it helps your life be more easy inside our beloved program, the Adobe Photoshop.